Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Small Town Texas. Today we find ourselves at the intersection of State Highways 11 and 37 in Wood, Franklin, and Hopkins Counties to the town of Winsboro. Winsboro was first settled in 1854 by Englishman John E. Wynn and his stepson W. R. McMillan as they were traveling from Russ County. As they passed through the area, they quickly fell in love with it and decided to end their travels and soon purchased 361 acres. The duo named the area Crossroads and soon built houses and the first mercantile. Now, other businesses and families soon followed. In 1855, when trying to open a post office, they discovered that there already was a crossroads in Texas. So in honor of Wynn, the name was changed to Winsboro. 1876 saw the railroad come to town thanks to longtime landowner Nancy Cook, who made a land donation just to get the railroad into Winsboro. Her donation gave her the honor of selecting the location of the new depot. Now the location she chose is where the old depot stands today, however that building is not the original. The original was destroyed by fire in 1907. Now with the arrival of the depot, the population grew from around 300 to 700 rather quickly. There were many sawmills in the area by this time, and with the logging industry at its peak, the loggers needed somewhere to find entertainment. The alley street that extends north from the depot became what was known as the Bowery, an area filled with saloons, gambling halls, and some bathhouses that the loggers enjoyed. By 1902, the Texas Southern had come to town from Marshall and Winsboro had become a major agricultural shipping center. In those early years of the 20th century, Winsboro was receiving passenger trains each day at noontime, and by 1914 the population had grown to around 2,300, having multiple banks, potteries, a public library, and three mills. Now, Winsboro didn't go by unnoticed. It did have its fair share of some famous visitors throughout its history. In fact, the infamous outlaws Bonnie and Clyde had an accomplice that lived in the area and it was said that when the two visited their friend, they would come into Winsboro to eat and shop. One story even suggests that the gangsters picked up a load of ammunition from in front of the depot. In 1934, Winsboro was said to have been one of their last stops before heading into Louisiana where their lives would end in May of that year. Through the years, Winsboro has become a great community, keeping very close to its agricultural roots. It became a Main Street city in 2003 with its restored buildings earning it the honor of becoming a Preserve America community. Now, Winsboro is also known as home of the Autumn Trails. Now, since 1959, the town celebrates the beauty of the fall with month-long activities, including a ride through the countryside taking in the fall foliage. Today, the population rests close to around 3,500 people and was recently designated a certified retirement community. So come out and enjoy Winsboro. The town has gone to great lengths to show its history by placing historical markers all through the town. You'll find plenty of shopping, dining, and lots of outdoor activities in the area as well. You'll be welcome in Winsboro.
He's coming this way. He's hopping that. Sorry. 